Shalom, this is Boruch Rappaport for Torah Online, Chumash and Rashi, with Parshat HaShavua, Parshat Tetzaveh. Let's first see an overview. Toward the beginning of the, of the parsha. God tells to Moshe to make special clothes of splendor for the, for the Kohanim. Here's the Psukim, Lamed Gimor, Lamed Dalad. Liasita al Shulav, and you will make on the the Shulayim, the uh, the bottom. Rimone Rimone This is Smichut, the Rimonim, the pomegranates of Tchelet, which is wool dyed blue, Viagaman, and wool dyed red, Vitolat Shani. This is wool which is dyed with a different kind of red. A lighter kind of red, Argaman is more of a, a deeper red, more, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm making a mistake, but I understand it more like uh, closer to Burgundy. Al Shulav, on, on the bottom, on its bottom, on the bottom of the of the uh, Me'il, the robe that we're talking about, Saviv, all around. Ufa Amonei Zahav, and bells of gold, betocham, in them, saviv, all around. Okay, next. The pasuk says, pa'amon zahav v'rimon, bells of gold and pomegranate. Well, bell, really. He's speaking in the singular, but... He means the collective singular. The singular, each one by itself, which all together, in the, in the same way you say cattle, yeah? Or sheep. How many sheep is sheep? It could be one, it could be a million. In the same sense over here, that's what I, what I understand. Pa'amon, zahav, a bell of gold, virimon, and a pomegranate. Pa'amon, zahav, virimon. He it, it repeats himself. The a, a bell of gold and a pomegranate. Al shulei hameil saviv on the bottom on the edge of the meil saviv around. Okay, the the Rashi of pasuk lamed gimel rimone. Pomegranates of agulim vechalolim hayu. Hayu they were agulim round. And chalolim, in a, a space in the middle. How does he translate hollow? Okay, I accept that. Kemin rimonim, like like the kind of rimonim. Ha'asoyim keveitzat tarnagolat, which is made like the egg of a of a chicken. Like a chicken egg. In other words, round like that. Okay, note the word chalolim. This is going to be a point of focus. Chalolim means hollow in this context. Upa'amone zahav and bells of gold. Rashi explains zagim, bells, im in belim shabatocham. With the, uh, what do you call it, clapper? Yeah, with the clapper inside it. Bitocham saviv, in them, all around. Says Rashi, here's where it starts. Beinehem saviv, between them, all around. He explains. Bein shnei ribonim, Pamon Echad is one bell. Between two Rimonim is one bell. Davuk Vitaloi attached and hanging Vishulei Hameil at the edge, at the bottom edge 
of the robe. In other words, it goes around the bottom edge of the robe, a pomegranate and a, and a bell, a pomegranate and a bell, a rimon, pamon, rimon, pamon, all the way around, one after the other. So this is the Rashi. Now what I want to show you, I want to show you the Ramban. The Ramban disagrees with Rashi and says that the bells were inside the pomegranates and also regarding the form of the robe. So I made a question out of it. Yeah, who, who seems more correct in his judgment? It's like this. They, the, the Ramban brings proofs, asks questions on Rashi and bring, brings proof for his thesis. And the uh, super commentators answer back on the Ramban's questions and support Rashi. This is what I'd like to show you this week. Let's go straight to the Ramban.